What's up guys, it's Story Mac here today with one of the better solo squads gameplays that you may have seen on YouTube. And I wanted to upload this today because the majority of the kills that I got in this video were against decent players. And with that being said, I wanted to take an opportunity to commentate to in a way elaborate on how to play smarter and be a better player on Fortnite by you know explaining the decisions that I'm making in game and explaining why I play the way I do. Oh yeah, by the way, you'll hear Nuda talking in the background in the introduction of this video because I had a stream open and I didn't realize up until like, you know, like three minutes in and then when I did, I closed out. Shadowplay picks up all audio and I forgot all about that. It's whatever, it's fine, it's okay. Right here, I stopped to use first shot accuracy to my advantage to get easy headshots on the kid since he was just breaking a wall. And when I challenged this kid right here, I wasn't expecting him to take off that much health and I actually was penalized for switching my pump too fast when I first shot him and my shot didn't even register but it gave me a red X, which is really weird. I'd hope that gets fixed. But uh, I played that safe by building up and peeking behind my ramp and trying to shoot as fast as I could. And since I heard other players running around, I decided I could get an easy shot by doing this. And I did. And luckily he couldn't hit me and then as he was i was like all right let me just build some ramps building ramps and walls inside buildings is actually really helpful sometimes and if you do it properly like that and not try to build a wall which is like the wrong idea right there you'll get away with it and actually block off some shots right there i just had two easy shots and why not take advantage of them while wall peeking like that wall peeking is another very smart tactic to do on this in the beginning of a game where like no one really has any material or anything and like you're in a building like that and that's one of the things that a lot of people don't like about Tilted Towers, from my understanding, that you can just hide behind walls and body people like that. Again, I decided to use first shot accuracy to my advantage since those players were just like ganged up being idiots. And first shot accuracy is really beneficial since they reversed the patch. I'm using the double pump here, which is actually really good still, surprisingly. With all these recent updates with them trying to slow us down, the double pump still kind of works. It's not fast in any way, but it's faster than just waiting for your pump to cock back. I'd say it's probably like a half a second faster. And now that I have another squad on me, I thought I need to get the high ground. And when I dropped down to shoot that last player right there, I built a platform to land on, not only to protect my fall, but like to block his shot. But unfortunately, desync on this game has been pretty bad. And most of the time they're able to shoot through. Even if you get the build off faster than they get to shoot, it just doesn't work. And that's something that Epic hopefully fixes. I don't know, they might. Now that I realized I had a moment to breathe, I was just looting and healing up and just recouping with what I could. When you're playing solo squads, sometimes it is hard to decide on who to go for, and I was definitely having some trouble with that, but I realized getting the guy on the roof would be the best option because he has the higher ground. I don't want him to like be above me shooting me while I'm like rushing his teammates that are like in the building on the ground wherever they are, so I went for him first. I like to not go for players that are inside buildings anymore because every single time you do that, you're going to set yourself up for failure unless you like play it really smart because they will probably play the wall camping method. I mean, I don't blame them. It's, it's really smart because you can just hide behind a wall and peek out whenever you choose to and you can get an easy one shot. Double pump working like a charm. Luckily, that roof was already destroyed because if I tried to break in, he probably would have waited for me.
And I kind of got myself into a bad situation right here by jumping into this building. So I wanted to play as like defensive as I could. So I'm like editing to get out and everything. And then I, I thought like, why not break in right here and try to power swing to get through and get into the building before they even realized I was breaking in. The double pump's really good, not gonna lie. I hear players all on this building, and I wanted to try to play smart and try to scavenge for any loot that I could and see if I can get full shield, but I couldn't. And I picked up the blue tack because double pump will only get you so far in solo squads against teams when you're literally one lone wolf. When those kids spotted me and started shooting at me, I thought, why not try to get a distance from them and see if they would continue to try to shoot at me thinking I was like hiding in the building. Luckily, I had that ramp to crawl through the window and I don't think they realized it. So I had an easy snipe back. And now that I downed the kid, I wanted to rush up there to see if I could uh, get his teammate while he was healing him or something because I figured he would try to rest him right away. But he actually didn't and I almost set myself up for a bad situation. Aiming for the head with the pump will always be the best method. I, I can't use attack on its own. Because if you try to aim for the head with attack, like it just never works. Even when I'm in an editing situation or I'm building really quick, I will still choose to pull out the pump before the attack because I never can get a one shot with attack. And since there was such a clusterfuck up there and they still had the high ground on me, I decided to step it back for a second. And luckily, I had the opportunity to wait for them to stand still because they were shooting at other players. Something bad that I did was just stand still and not protect myself. You want to protect yourself when you're waiting to shoot somebody, like in that situation I was just in. I tried shooting that platform thinking that it was not destroyed yet, and um, I mean, I don't know what the hell happened right there, I just faded it through. Right here, as you can tell, I have 19 kills with 30 people remaining still. The storm's coming in, and there's still players back on that hill back there. And I thought, instead of trying to get more kills and kill hog a little more, I jump out of the way to like actually like protect myself and not have to deal with the storm and not have to deal with like healing myself and maybe not making it because it was like such a far hike. You have to rotate early. And if you don't rotate early and, and play like that, like you're most likely gonna set yourself up for failure. Because there's other people that are rotating earlier and they're most likely gonna storm camp like you see me doing here. And it's just an easy way to get kills. Like everyone will take advantage of that when they have circle advantage on you. This is where it starts to go south because not only was I lagging a little bit, but I was also super indecisive on which team to rush and I should have rushed the team that was fighting another team because I already downed one of the players and it would have just been the smarter choice there. But I decided to go for the players that just coincidentally ended up being the best players in the lobby. Right here, I shoot my shot, and I got so screwed over. Like, that shot went directly through that man, and you can see if you slow it down. The entire spread goes through him, and I just kind of fucked up, not knowing what to do, and there was just three of them, and I really was just screwed from the get-go fighting these guys. If you run across a really good team in solo squads, there is like a 1 in 14 million chance, like Doctor Strange said in the Avengers, winning that battle against them, and um, yeah. You can see here that I didn't get that 1 in 14 million chance.
Well, hats off to these guys for winning the game after they killed me. I mean, they killed me not only because I lagged and fell off and couldn't build, but they also killed me because they had the four to one advantage and, you know, they killed me by shooting me in the back. Yep, hats off. I mean, at least they won after they killed me. I had 20 kills when there were still so many people left and that could have easily been one of the world record solo squad games which I will be going for. I'm gonna keep going for it now since I realized I can totally do it and I've never done solo squads before. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and comment down below if you wanna like see more of these. I would totes my goats do more of these if you guys wanted me to. I could go more into detail about certain things in Fortnite. I don't know. Whatever you guys wanna see, let me know. Later.